Education has moved online, and Keiki Oka Aina is here to help with a new distance learning program for parents with Keiki 5 and under. Check it out. Education is so important, especially right now, as we do a lot of learning from home. So time that we talk to our friends at Kiki Okaina about their early childhood learning programs. I'm here with Momi Akana as well as Melanie Vega. So thank you ladies so much for joining us to talk about childhood education. Good to see you, Tanya. Great to see you. You too. So Melody, let's jump into it and tell me more about the early childhood program and what you're able to do with distance learning right now. Keiki Oka'ina's Parent Participation Virtual Classrooms, that's what we're calling it, um, are for our families with children birth through five years old. They still meet twice a week for one hour, but really the goal of the virtual classroom is to support parents during this time um, by just providing engaging, quality, hands-on learning experiences for their child that focuses on them being their child's first teacher. We provide online videos once a week that help to um, engage the parent-child interaction learning experience through play in between the classrooms. And there's a lot of Hawaiian culture, values, language shared and practiced during these learning experiences. My son, who's now 12, went through this when he was just a wee toddler. It was one of his first experiences. But what are some of the transitions and challenges of making it online? Because it's so valuable to have that face-to-face -face interaction. But what have been the biggest challenges for this program? Well, just um, helping our teachers learn how to teach online. Um, because teachers, especially teachers of really young guys, are so used to and so want to be there on site, in person, face to face. And so this is really a challenge we had to enthusiastically accept once all of this happened. And um, our teachers were extensively trained, not just to use this tool, this Zoom online tool, which is really kind of one dimensional, but also um, to engage families and children using this venue. And that, that's a, a whole training experience altogether. Momi, I want to ask you, you have many years experience in this realm, but in relation to this new vehicle for learning, our new normal as uh, we keep hearing, how has this impacted the Native Hawaiians and the education that we're able to provide? First of all, we miss everybody. And I think the way it really has impacted uh, Native Hawaiians, minorities, people who are economically challenged, it's a huge issue that they're not able to hire the tutors that would help them catch up. They're not able to have access to those, um, uh, the free meal programs, especially when schools are closed and they're not going into school. There's so many different things, the special education, um, training, whether it's occupational, speech therapy, physical therapy, all of the things that schools have been able to provide that um, aren't available to them right now while we're not in schools. There's, there's a lot that um, uh, not just Native Hawaiians, but minorities and uh, people with uh, disabilities and economically challenged families are experiencing more than other families who can afford to augment those services with them. Um, private private tutors and, and specialty people coming in and helping them with those kinds of issues. Yeah, they really have been impacted. That said, what are some of the big challenges or should I say goals for early childhood education this year with so much that has had to transition? We have a, a, a lot of things that we want to, I want to say one of the first things that you're going to love about going online with us is we realize being stuck in a house with a toddler or anyone from an early childhood perspective, the biggest thing is they got to get that, that need to move and interact out. So lots of dancing, lots of different kinds of things to get your child moving and engaged, which is what they need to be. The curriculum we've developed is, is exciting. Uh, it's STEM-based, it's language-based, it's early childhood at its best, and our teachers do it uh, based on um, the curriculum that we're doing that week, and they get to watch supplemental videos. It's great stuff. 
Momi, Melody, thank you so much for all that you do to help families and especially our cake. Mahalo. We miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Aloha. We all miss each other, but it's great that they have these yeah. online programs and so many great experiences because especially the zero to five age group do need to keep their minds moving, their bodies moving, and uh, give the parents some, some guidance and support on that. I do not, uh, there, there are so many things that go through my head when I'm thinking that a zero to five year old and how to keep their attention and how to keep them mm -hmm. uh, just involved, right? It's. Uh, whew, they're, they're the experts. <laughs> they are. And we'll post more there. You can go and get the link and some of those ideas for the parent participation virtual programs. Yes. Okay, important question.